We're going to talk about chod fishing now, um, and these are supposed to be short clips, but uh, I think I could quite easily waffle on for about 10 minutes with this one. So I'll try and keep it brief, uh, but give you the important things on what I do and why I do them. Um, so straight away, that is my little finished choddy. Um, starting, that's a size 11 swivel. It's 25 pound rigor mortis. It's a size five stiff rig chod, one of the razor points. Simple D-rig with a pop-up peg. Um, you'll notice there, there's no knot. That is a crimp. Um, and I use crimps purely because it makes it easier for me to get that chod really, really short, as you can see there. From probably the bottom of the hook to the top of the swivel is probably no more than two inches. And I like that sort of short presentation because it keeps it quite low. Even on weed, if I'm using a naked chod, it can still sit fairly low rather than being quite obtrusive. And if it lands on clear ground, like clear gravel, then it's just really going to look like a pop-up rig to the fish rather than a massive sort of pop-up four or five inches off the deck. So a few of the little things that I use, obviously uh, the razor point hooks, really, really sharp, straight out of the packet, really long point. Um, and what we did with these is we made the eye of the hook slightly bigger so that when you're using, certainly in my case, I use the 25 pound rigor mortis, which is a lot thicker, but if you were to use another manufacturer's hook, the eyes are quite small, so that obviously it's really difficult to get the 25 pound back through three times. With the razor points, that's not an issue, it flies back through. Obviously cut the rigor mortis on an angle and it goes through real easy. Um, the pop-up pegs, um, I've used these ever since the first prototypes were given to us um, and they just make my life easier rather than tying on a pop-up, which, you know, I know some people like to still do that because they think that is the way it should be, but the pop-up pegs just make it easier. All I do, if I'm using a cork ball pop-up or even quite a hard pop-up, is I'll put a, a pilot hole into the pop-up, not all the way through because you don't want to pierce it. I'll put it halfway through with a, a sharp baiting needle and it just makes the the pop up the thread of the pop up peg grip the actual bait easy when you're screwing in um, these are the crimps again i use uh, the witchwood ones purely because i think they're the best ones on the market they're very user friendly the jaws in the teeth are big enough to allow the crimp to fall out once you've crimped it and again as long as you crimp it perfectly correctly and central in the jaw then you'll never have the rig go i've never had a crimped chod or a crimped rig on the stiff material snap through to my inability to tie it correctly uh, and lastly uh, this is my little chod box and not only can you store them on this but also what i do is once i've tied my chods I will steam them perf perfectly straight to take all the memory out of the rigor mortis. And then what I do is I pin them perfectly straight onto the chod box and then I'll steam the whole chod box. So that what that does, that then gives you the perfect, in my opinion, the perfect curve, which obviously I've got on that rig there. I just think it sits like a claw. I, I just like it slightly more curved than probably a lot of people. And again, I don't lose many fish on them. I think people lose fish on chods because they might have not steamed the rig perfectly straight. And just, if you look down the rig there, you can see that rig is perfectly straight. So always make sure that your rigor mortis is perfectly in line with the shank of your hook. Make them straight. And I think that aids in, in not pulling hooks from a very short hook link. So yeah, my little chod tips, give it a go.